Hi guys, this is Teacher Sa Teacher Abby once again. So Europeans, let's focus on Europeans. Says North America, okay, is a new continent, but in fact there were already a Native Americans who originally lived there. Okay, some natives have been friendly, okay, have been friendly with Americans, but some okay have not welcomed the Gentiles. Okay, they have not welcomed the Gentiles, and Europeans have enslaved african europeans have enslaved african uh, to build what to build their own country their own nation so now today our focus is mainly about what american indians okay native remember it's native american indians africans who became slaves and also the european immigrants <laughs> If American settlers wanted to build, remember American settlers wanted to build their land and how their houses on the land where Native American tribes lived, they were supposed to what? To pay for the land. So pay for the lands and sign a treaty. Okay, American settlers wanted uh, to have houses on the land, they have to uh, pay the land and then sign a treaty explaining that the native americans have agreed so they have should have an agreement to it often the native americans weren't given much choice so wala silang choice and then they were hardly ever paid enough money for their lands so ang saklap so hindi na hindi fair yung pagbigay sa kanila ng money pagbayad white settlers bought entire what entire forest and farms and even bought cheap jewelry so so imagine that one they have bought uh, cheap jewels and pounds of tobacco by 1830s more and more americans remember more and more americans wanted to buy land from who from yes from native american okay native americans who live in ohio ohio valley and in southwest states the u.s was growing so in Okay, in Southeast, the U.S. was growing. But the Native American tribes who live in the valuable land, okay, refuse, okay, valuable land in the Southeast and Mideast, Southeast and Midwest, okay, Southeast and Midwest, were too slow to hand those land to them. They were too slow to hand, to hand those land to them. To them many tribes refuse so many tribes refuse to sell their lands at all so because they don't want to give their lands so they refused many tribes so the president of the united states president u.s oh, u.s president okay andrew jackson made a law so made a law and then signed a law it's the removal act so in john removal act so in general removal act meaning that the president could take now their lands okay take their lands without asking it and without asking it or paying it for as long as as they give the americans an equal amount so for as long as they give the american uh, the native equal amount of land unsettled prairies of the west when you say unsettled prairies of the west it's part of the flatland or the grassland so that is the remo uh, indian removal act so the indian doesn't have okay the indian the president could take the land without asking from the indian so take it away grab it away without their own agreement the indian removal act okay seems to be a good idea for both congress and the president president jackson for over 100 years, whites and Native Americans, okay, whites and Native Americans had quarrel, fought, and fight. And now, white settlers could live near each other, and Native Americans could have their own, okay, could have their own part of the country further away. They could live near each other, but Native could live farther away. So what do you think? Do you think this is a good idea? Do you agree to this one? Okay, but to the Native American tribes, the Indian Removal Act meant that they would lose what? 
of course their homes they would lose their homes without any way of getting them back because it you know they are getting so they're paid by the same land but they cannot get the same land where they sell before so masaklap inangyay sa kanila some of the five civilized five civilized tribes decided that they could not fight they could not fight the u.s government so the chikso or the tribe uh, american indian tribe loaded weapons okay loaded weapons preparing to leave so they're going to leave and then what do you think they're real yes they go on battle and the creek indian refused to go of course they don't want to go you know they don't want to leave their land so the u.s soldier came to their homes and what they chained so they chained the the creek uh creek indians and then they marched towards the west so hungry cold and loaded okay loaded down with chains so uh hungry cold loaded that with chains 3500 indians died before reaching their okay new indian territory 3500 died before reaching their new indian territory the cherokee and the seminole tribes they were also tribes of native native american indian fought hardest so they fought hardest to keep their homes to them so what happened is down in the florida Semin seminole pick up what pick up weapons what are the weapons so those are the weapons like the guns of course and then access to went into war it took how many years it took seven years so it took seven years for them okay to defeat the semino uh it, for it took seven years for the u.s to defeat seminole from the war to drive them out from florida so natalo pa rin ang seminole so kahit na nakapag-away sila sa u.s government natalo pa si natalo pa rin sila but seven years it took seven years for the u.s government to defeat them from florida Cherokee, Cherokee Indians tribe okay tried also fighting them but in a different way okay so they used the court so they they used the court to keep their homes judges heard them to argue that they deserve okay deserve to live on their own land on their own farms the court hearing did drag for how many years eight years so the hearing drag or lasted for eight years but the governor of Georgia, where many Cherokee live, didn't bother to wait for the judge's decision. So, nag ano na siya, nag, uh, nag plant na siya, gumawa na siya ng decision. Finally, so 700 soldiers, remember, 700 soldiers invaded Cherokee who live in Georgia. So, yun na yung decision ng governor of Georgia. And then, broke down the doors of Cherokee and then the cabins and plantation houses and chased the family out from their lands. Okay, in June 1838, the Cherokee was, were marched towards the new Indian Territory in where? Oklahoma. So it's in Oklahoma now. 800 miles away on this long wretched journey. So ang haba-haba. So, wretched journey, they march through drought and dying of thirst. So, maraming namatay sa kanila. It took Cherokee a nation a year, so one year, to walk to Oklahoma. So, kaya ang dami sa kanilang namatay because it took them one year to go to their territory, which is in Oklahoma. One out of four, so one out of four Cherokee died because of that uh, journey devastating journey so the journey they called it now as nana da nana da u chunyi nana da u chunyi or the road where we cried today the, this journey is called the trail of tears so the trails of tears <laughs> The Seminole was not only the American Indian tribes, okay, to rebel against the 
government or the countrymen in the north the southern states of america slaves also okay work as early until late early until late on plantations so every sunday the white men okay sent all their slaves to churches why so that the white preacher would preach and saying that god wanted the slaves okay to follow their masters without any questions so ganun kasama yung nangyayari dati so the god wanted so ipinipitch na that god wanted all the slaves to follow their masters without any questions but on sunday evenings the slaves held their own church so sunday evening then the church uh, the the uh, the slaves make their own okay pitch their own time during the church services they sang songs about freedom about okay freedom about god's judgment on cruel wrongdoers black ministers also preach about the coming time coming time of freedom when god would heal all the sufferings of the slaves one of these black ministers was a slave named Nat Turner. Okay, remember Nat Turner. Nat Turner's preaching was preparing the slaves, okay, to rise and to rise up and fight. Okay, rise up and fight against the okay, against the oppressors. So those are the uh, their masters. Nat began to make his plan. Nat Turner's friend said that he should made okay he should made a speech what are what's the speech about it is necessary that all the white okay white whites we meet die all the whites we meet die that was the speech all about he told his to stand at end ours is not a war okay ours is not a war of robbery it is a struggle struggle of freedom a struggle of freedom spare no one it is a struggle of freedom and spare no one then the seven men pick up what access and guns access and uh, knives and start to fight seven men the group of rebels grew so it grew and grew and more now there were how many 15 15 armed men now there from seven now there were 15 armed men but by 10 o'clock the next morning Nat Turner's army had 40 40 okay 40 men so 7 15 and now 40 men in all so all waving access guns and knives but nuts that turner's revolt went into what a failure so it went a failure two weeks later not turner what happened yes he died by means of what so he was hung so he was hung his rebellion hadn't freed slaves so it hadn't freed slave his okay his rebel hadn't freed slave instead they were worse off than ever their owners were terrified of their revolt so natakot yung mga owners sa kanila yung master nila so what they did was they killed many of the slaves they killed many of the slaves laws were passed keeping slave from meeting together okay in a group of three so not more than three black ministers were told they could not also preach so black ministers were told they could not preach okay to their congregation anyone who caught taught a slave to read and write also should be killed and then read and write should be uh, not be killed but to be punished in jail for a year so those who saw them the teaching the slaves for about reading and writing there should they should be what they should be jailed for one year african americans suffered too they were not allowed to own guns they were not allowed to own guns or to meet together at at night unless they have three white men accompanying them at all times all of these laws were meant to keep slaves from plotting a, rebe a rebellion so even i para hindi sila Magalsa, so because of that law, but many Americans realized that okay, unless okay, unless slaves were brought to an end, were brought to an end, more bloodshed will still occur. So they have to realize that the slave should be put to an end. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, there were three kinds of people who live in North America. They have the white people, the Indian American, and then the slave. They did not become one. They did not become one, but instead they fear each other. Because of that fear and greed, but because of that fear and greed, American history had been tragically what? Tragically developed fear and greed america was tragically developed if you were americans in 1800 okay but before that america's is also a country what made to praise made to praise to god even now american president put their hands on the bible and then they take oaths so they they still use the Bible in praising God. They put the Bible in it and then they praise it and then they take oaths. So if I will ask you, if you were American in 1800s, how will you guys get along with Americans? How will you guys get along with Americans? And how will you have been with the African slaves? Okay, African slave. So I'd like to discuss with you this again. Discuss it together. America is still in the what? In the center. America sits in the center of the world. It's the center of economy, center of society, and culture. So that's why America is really a big nation. Now, for from next week, okay, next week, I will, uh, let's look back again from the U.S. history that I discussed, and then we'll continue again. So till then, bye-bye.